Hey everybody, it's Claude here, and today we're going to be unboxing a box I received from Pro Am USA. So come take a look with me and see what we got. So about two weeks ago, we were out here in Orlando getting ready to film. Uh, just arrived at the uh, Crayola experience. I pulled out my tripod and this is what happened. The whole thing came apart. And uh, obviously a little bit of a crisis at the time. Um, I told my friends at Pro-Am USA and they sent me a box of goodies. So we're gonna take a look and see what they sent. But before we do that, let's see why this tripod was probably not a good idea for my size of camera. So I'm going to try to put this uh, broken tripod together and sort of show you why this was really not a wise choice when, you know, selecting a tripod. I've got a 7, a Canon 7D camera and um, I've also got this extra back battery pack that adds quite a bit of weight to the camera. On top of that, I've got my 18 to 55 millimeter lens that I use mostly when we're filming. And then I've got this Rode um, microphone that I attach. But before I do that, I put in my extender and I put my LED, 300 LED light on top of that. And my Rode microphone on that and if I wanted to I could even put like a monitor on this little uh, area here attach a monitor there all this then goes onto that tripod that you just saw and you'll see right now that it just it it's just far too much weight okay so this is how my gear looks once it's all done okay I've extended it a little bit um, I can't even extend the, the, the three legs of the tripod because obviously one is one is broken But just look at this if I make a slight move this whole thing is shaking around If I want to make an adjustment and focus Then the whole thing moves and what I, what we've found as well is that if there's a bit of a wind that's blowing I, I normally put like the muffler on the the micro microphone and it just picks up the wind and you can see the whole thing and this all now is affecting your image so I'm not saying anything about the tripod because I shouldn't have chosen this uh, it's nothing to do with the brand I shouldn't have chosen this sort of a size tripod it was way too small and far too unstable for the kind of work that we do but it's good to know if you're getting into um, film or you want to get onto YouTube uh, choose the correct equipment and uh, because you're going to save yourself a lot of hassles further down the line Okay, so the guys from Pro-Am said they could really help me out and they sent me this box um, I'm thinking that it's a, it's a tripod But then again Pro-Am is also really well known for their stabilizers so I'm hoping I'm hoping that they really were very generous and gave me a stabilizer to try out. Let's have a look. Oh yeah! Woo! I'm just gonna break the box. Boom! Okay, so this must be the tripod. Already the bag looks a whole lot more bigger, so I'm hoping that it's a more stable larger stronger tripod that can manage the weight of all my equipment because i don't even have a monitor on that setup of mine wow look at that already you can see the thickness of these poles yeah Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh yeah. That is really... Wow. Pro-Am USA. Look at the size of that. Woo! Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's see what else is on the box here. Oh, excellent. Yes, uh, this will fit into the, uh, the head. And you can maneuver your camera. It's got this extend function, which is really cool. 
We'll put that together now. Uh -oh. What is in here? Oh wow, that's fantastic. This is a fluid tripod head. Really cool. And then this will fit into there. Into that. And this just helps to stabilize your camera. If you see the nice base over there, you could even put a much bigger camera than mine. It is really, really solid. So I'm not going to have the light weight I had with the other tripod, but then again, it's not going to, you know, crumble at my feet when I'm in a situation where I really want to get the shot. Um, this is far more stable. It's a little heavier, so it's going to be a little bit more weight to carry with me. But in the end, you at least get your shot. You know, you're not going to... You're not going to lose some important video clips because of Bumpy. You know, we were at um, SeaWorld the other day and I was trying to stabilize some of the video um, and it just wasn't working. Even with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro trying to use that stabilize function, it just wasn't, it wasn't working. So you don't want to always be going behind after the job trying to correct things you want to get it right the first time it saves so much time in editing afterwards okay the last box is wow this is really exciting it is a stabilizer a pro-am stabilizer autopilot camera stabilization wow for cameras up to six pounds which is perfect for for my camera what do we have here? Okay, some information. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna have to figure out how this thing works. But this is where you hold it. Your weights will be over here on these two screws here. And then as you're walking or going up and down, it completely stabilizes your camera so that you don't have those weird jerky movements. Yeah, these are a bunch of weights over here. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to set this up and then we're going to try it out. Okay, so I've set everything up. It really looks very stable. It moves really nicely and smoothly. I'm super happy with this. Look how you can even stabilize the legs here. If I do this, everything's got nice, strong clips. Okay, it's even too big for the table, but can you believe it even extends further so you could really get it nice and flat you can then even stabilize this and this pushes out even more so that this is completely stable if you get other tripods that have like a hook it dangles underneath and you can put like a weight to, to try and form some sort of stabilization but with this you don't need that because you're stabilizing your pole your central pole here and you're stabilizing your legs so everything is exactly perfectly fixed i mean this this could you could have an absolutely stable shot in a hurricane in an earthquake this is really solid and so you probably don't get a more um stable tripod than than this uh, so i'm super super happy with this and i can't wait to try it over the next coming weeks while we're filming here in orlando the other thing that they gave me was the stabilizer the autopilot stabilizer and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up the stairs here where i live and show you an example of a stabilizer video and something that hasn't been uh, stabilized so let's check it out okay so this is the auto stabilizer i must admit it did take me a little while to try and uh, figure things out there are quite a few different points on this device that you adjust to create a perfect sort of um, stabilization of your camera um, as you can see right now now that i'm looking at it this doesn't even look co completely correct what i did do is i adjusted it so that the camera faces down because i'm generally holding my camera like at this sort of uh, height 
and if it were to face out directly in front of me it wouldn't get the you know action that's happening right here like two three four feet away from me so i'm wanting it to angle a little bit down but basically you can add weights these i've added two weights here two weights on the back that creates stabilization of a forwards and backwards movement here you can move and adjust this where your camera sits on and that also creates it now i had a bit of a tricky situation in that i've got this extra battery pack and you see it adds quite a bit of length here adds extra weight um so yeah it, it's going to take some time to figure it out also i don't think it's ideal to be honest to have a strap dangling i think it kind of affects you know how this thing moves what i did notice is you'll see i can move my hand like this okay well there but i can move my hand like this and it stays quite stable but at times it will sort of like drift like that you see it's super sensitive and so what they say in their uh, manual is that you should just guide you're still going to have to guide the camera if you're wanting to turn your camera they say you can't you, you know you need to be quite sensitive about it so just a slight touch on the uh, central pole here and you can actually turn turn your camera turning the pole okay now I'm just going to use my hands the autopilot stabilizer go up the stairs and see what happens Turning the pull. So all in all, I think it passed the test. That's the stair test. Let's look at the running test. I'm going to run backwards and forwards on this passage and see what happens. And there we have it I think it speaks for itself I am super super impressed with it I just can't wait to try that on some more action type shots it's gonna be a lot a lot of fun okay so I've tried out the tripod I've tried out the autopilot and I'm super super impressed it's certainly the tripod is certainly better than the crappy tripod I had before um, it looks super stable it's going to keep my shots nice and smooth this autopilot stabilizer is amazing I've fallen in love with this thing I've gone onto Pro-Am's website and I see they've got all kinds of uh, equipment for um, video and film and I can't wait to as I progress through the YouTube journey that we're taking I can't wait to try some more of their equipment um, I mean I think you could even produce a small little film with some of the stuff they have there so uh, i'm super impressed i'm super happy thank you so much pro am usa i'm really really happy and i can't wait to use this and i can't wait to share the videos that i produce with this equipment with you all back home so if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe because we've got some nice videos coming up in the next few weeks and follow us on all our instagram facebook I plan to take some amazing photographs with these, so check out our Instagram account. Cool guys, thanks for following, thanks for watching. Cheers, eh? Bye!